Hello, this video is for those who'd like to know if the person they've got a crush on has mutual feelings or not. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread, we'll try to see if they're feeling the same way or not about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual, in the second spread, we'll see if there is a potential between you and them. Or, if their heart is with someone else, then in the second spread, we'll try to see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please subscribe and donate to support this channel. Let's begin. Hi Scorpio, let's see what the, the person you are either in love with or have a crush on think about you. We've got the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Wands clarified by the Ace of Cups, and we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, I can interpret this two different ways, Scorpio. So scenario number one, if you were already in a relationship with this person and if this person ended this relationship and walked away from you then that person is um, busy with somebody else they've got somebody else on their mind and they're pursuing that other person however if you know this person but you've never been in a relationship with them then they're leaving somebody else right now they're ending a relationship and they could very well be coming towards you you see the Six of Wands clarified by the Ace of Cups. This is uh, them going after someone or somebody. And this whole spread is from their perspective. We are tapping in to their head or their heart. <laughs> so, um, yeah. In the, uh, in the Ten of Swords with the Eight of Cups here, this is uh, an ending and a walking away. So take it as resonates. Um, I usually ask what is there a future between you and this person but in this spread it's really unknown so what I'm gonna do in the second spread I'll just see who is coming towards you um, in the month of July and then we'll go from there alright Scorpio let's see um, if there is any new love coming towards you in July we've got the star the knight of cups the five of cups and the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. So what's interesting here is that we had the King of Swords in the first spread and it's an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and we have the personal Aquarius card here, the Star. So um, if uh, you are dealing with an Aquarius then this person is going to come forward with the with the love offer. That's what I see in the Knight of Cups here. This is uh, a very genuine, very emotional, authentic love offer. And they've been missing you. They've been thinking about you. You've been on their mind. That's what the Five of Cups here represents. Uh, the star, if it's not an Aquarius, then you still have somebody coming. And uh, they will express their feelings towards you and the star in this case is a wish come true either for you or them or perhaps both of you and I really do like the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck this is a brand new beginning um, or this is the conversation or breakthrough or some kind of a truth that's going to be uh, revealed but most likely this is like I said you um, starting something this month together yeah so the knight of cups is a very genuine offer so um, uh, if you think this person vibes with you on the same level if this person resonates with you then I think you should give them a shot because like I said the, their feelings are uh, genuine here so it looks pretty good Scorpio have a great month and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.